All right, YouTube, you may have heard of what's being now referred to as Elbowgate in Canada. Apparently, Justin Trudeau, who's like the hyper-liberal, multi-culty, feminist friend, uh, prime minister, accidentally elbowed somebody when he was escorting somebody up to, to vote or something because there was a, a, quite a large crowd of people that were sort of milling about. And now people are acting like they've been like deeply triggered by this and they're saying that it's like another holocaust or something essentially and I just like to take this moment to say unequivocally the nation of Canada is run by a bunch of complete fucking babies the way in which Trudeau carries himself speaks operates the things that he believes in are things that a small child might concoct in a sort of fantasy the way in which both his own party and this other goofy part I don't even know what it's called this uh, individual was apparently a member of an even further left party there and even the conservatives in Canada uh, under Harper and and even now they act like a bunch of little spoiled rotten children that really need a good spanking I don't even favor corporal punishment but if anybody deserves to be spanked it's the people in the Canadian Parliament I mean this is just insane to think that this group of grown adults would have this big an issue with accidentally shoving somebody in a crowd is it's astonishing to me I can't even understand I can't even begin to comprehend the kind of things going on in their heads when they're actually unironically discussing this sort of stuff as though it's the end of the world that it's it's somehow it's a form of literal manhandling or it's sexism or bigotry in some way what are these people smoking they must have all been to the dispensary before they got up there and started milling about during the vote because they obviously were all high out of their mind. I have to say, this is like an argument against legalizing marijuana if ever I saw one because obviously at the very least it makes politicians completely incompetent because these people don't appear to understand how reality functions. They're living in la-la land. I guess their idealism got to them. Now Trudeau has already done several things while prime minister that are utterly stupid he turned away offered help from the united states and russia they said we'll send in help to fight this wildfire he said no it'll be fine it'll rain eventually i suppose is his motto or his other more famous motto if you fight the fire the fire wins i suppose now the fire is even larger than it was before it's blossomed to a million acres and they're talking about not being able to get rid of it even possibly this year. Like, oh, yeah, it'll keep burning at least in some fashion for the rest of the fucking year. Yeah, half the province will be burned to the ground. But don't worry, folks. I mean, here's someone who claims to be, like, environmentally friendly. And right now, Canada is emitting a lot more CO2 than probably every other nation on Earth combined at the moment because of this one fucking gigantic fire. People's lives get destroyed. Trudeau just sort of sits back and laughs. I have to... He has has a dank me he has a dank weed stash somewhere in that forest he's just waiting until that goes up in smoke so he can go and pretend to be touring in a helicopter and just rail that shit into his lungs and he's gonna be off he's gonna pass out because he'll be so high that's what I think he's doing so there's number one he refuses international help for something that Canada obviously can't even like accomplish on its own he's fucked his own nation's currency just by being there because all the businesses and all the banks understand he's fucking retarded and he still has hobbit face now yeah that makes him look i guess charming or something but the things that he says the the weird inept things that he does aren't charming they're frightening honestly it's it's good that trudeau is up there in canada and not down here in the united states down here he'd already be a laughing stock he'd be a little bit like de blasio only less well received i think it doesn't matter that he's younger looking and and you know kind of in shape which is exactly what he is it doesn't fucking matter he's inept he should they should throw him out of office immediately and get somebody who knows what they're doing now by the way that doesn't mean the conservative party the conservative party up there appears to still believe marijuana is addictive and causes people to crash their cars so you know i can't necessarily respect them anymore i think that all canadian politicians are just there's something in the air up there in canada that makes people go loopy 
I, how do you, to any Canadian fans I have, how the hell do you deal with this shit? Your entire parliament's exploding in a whirling rage about sexism and stuff like that over somebody getting elbowed in line when there's a fucking crowd of like a hundred people milling around in close proximity. That's not a form of assault, it's not sexism, and then Trudeau comes out several times and apologizes, acting like, Oh, I'm so sorry, master. I'm so sorry, multiculturalism. I accidentally elbowed somebody in the chest. People think I have some testosterone left, and that's a mortal sin against uh, the, the homonormative culture or something like that. I don't know what's going on up there. I'm watching with bemusement trying to even make sense of how this actually occurred. I, I just don't get it. It's weird. It's like uh, if you were to extrapolate, I guess, the politics like San Francisco to an entire country, you'd end up with something a little bit further right than Canada, or at the least a little bit further out there than Canada on social issues. Fiscal issues, they're like not far away from the United States and fiscally it's sort of a weird you know lukewarm mediocre centrism a little intervention here a little bit of free market there and and they sort of hash it together okay that's fine you know fiscally they're not that liberal let's face it and they're not Sweden they're not Norway no but at the same time socially they're like whoa it's like uh, Trudeau is dropping acid and he's making his policies based on that fact all the things that the frog god tells him when he's doped up to the eyeballs. I have to assume that because nothing he says has made sense. Nothing the parliament there is saying has made sense. They're in La La Land. They're on drugs or lunatics or so. It must be a full. Must be it was a full moon when this happened. Had to have been. It's the only explanation. Or maybe it was like swamp gas. Maybe it's all the fumes from the Fort McMurray fire that Trudeau refuses to fight. They're wafting over, and everybody started getting like mild carbon monoxide intoxication. They were like, "Oh, my head's spinning. Where am I?" And they just sort of huddled together because they're not sure what's going on. And then they were. Ju they had just enough presence of mind to realize that Trudeau gently nudged somebody out of the way, and this is a form of assault or a form of bigotry. I just don't get it. That's about all. Peace out.